A pleasant evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen, friends, family. When I started planning at the beginning of the year, I thought it was going to be a lot easier, but let's see how we do it. My journey at the Heritage School started in the year 2017, when I was in year eight. I was blessed with the gift of sport, so I joined the school on a rugby scholarship. And this gave me the opportunity to rub shoulders with the children of the more privileged members of society. Looking into my 2017 year, it was pretty much everything I could ever wish for. I lived in a big house. I used to get picked up from the doorstep and back to school and back. Everything was pretty much as you'd want it. It was as if I was living on a television show on Disney Channel. However, as 2018 came, everything changed. Our financial situation at home was stumbling. And as a result, we had to relocate to a small community in Epworth, Harare. Because of the circumstances, I had to commute to school on a daily basis. And because of the status of our school, I was the only student in the entire school that came to school using combis, commuter omnibuses. Because of this, an array of emotions, of anger, of frustration, and of denial about my situation, they all overwhelmed me. And at the time, I was so ashamed about who I am that I lied to all my peers, and none of them knew about my situation at home. And at this point, I was on my own. 2018 went by, 2019 came, and went as fast as it came. Come 2020, something changed in me. As COVID-19 devastated the world, I began to realize that there are certain things in life that you cannot miss. As I commuted up and down the city, I got to meet so many people from various backgrounds, some from even harsher environments than I came from. And each individual had a story to tell. And I tell you, in these stories, they shared their misfortune with so much pride, with so much joy, and with so much hope that I could not help but envy this feeling. I began to realize that in life we chase the wrong things, yet instead, it's the little things that matter most. On one of my journeys, I encountered a man in one of the combis. He identified me as a student of the Heritage School, and I wonder why. <laughs> in this encounter, he uttered the famous line, and I quote, game kumbi. This statement leads to a chain reaction of complaint after complaint after complaint about why my life was so miserable and why I believe God should have done better with me. But it was at this point that he stopped me. He asked, can you see? I said, yes. Can you walk? I said, yes. Can you talk? I said, yes. And he told me that in life we miss the little things. We miss God's grace because we're seeking the wrong things. It was at this point, these words pricked my heart. And at the point, I was coming into my IGCSE O-level examinations. I came from being a C student at the beginning of the year to achieving seven A's and two B's. As a result of God's grace, I had the second best IGCSE results in the school. Fast forward, because of this achievement, little birds started chirping ideas into my mind about you might become head boy for 2022. <laughs> so I could not help but believe them. And so I wanted it and I went for it. My campaign consisted of two speeches. These two speeches led me into the speech day 2021 where we all waited to get results of our deeds. I remember we all sat in anticipation as Mr. Mike prolonged the speech and prolonged it. <laughs> but finally, I heard him utter the words, Head Boy 2022, I'm <laughs> Those are one of the best words I've ever felt. I was so ecstatic that words cannot describe the way I felt. <laughs> but, it only lasted 15 seconds. 15 seconds of yes, yes, yes. 
15 seconds of feeling as if I was on top of the world on all my achievements. However, ladies and gentlemen, bear in mind that there must come a 16th second. And in the 16th second, I sat back down on my seat. I went through the footage of the announcement, and I remember thinking, wait, that's it? What just happened? <laughs> to be honest, I don't even know what I expected to feel. Maybe I expected a parade and balloons would come falling from the sky. Or maybe, just maybe, I expected this achievement would make all my problems disappear. But ladies and gentlemen, that was not the case. Instead, this moment was one of the emptiest feelings I have ever felt. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, it leads me to say that life is not about the achievements we've had. Life is not about the car we're driving, the house we're living in, or the vacation we've been on. I tell you, I'm a kid that comes from Epworth. I still live in a two-bedroom house. I sleep on the sofa, but am I not the head boy of the heritage school? Therefore, at this juncture, parents, this is when I come to you. Parents, I plead with you. If you spoil us with the materialistic things of life, you are killing us. I'll repeat. Parents, if you spoil us, you're killing us. Mothers, fathers, Anna Mama, Nana did. We need you to love us. But please do not be the reasons why we lose our humility and our love for the community. Because the ability to love our neighbors as we love ourselves is the foundation of all life. And a life lived for God is the only thing that has meaning. Therefore, as I end up, I'm going to finish on Matthew chapter 19, verse 25, which reads, with man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. As I sign out as the head boy of the year 2022, I find there to be no better way to sign out than with gratitude. Therefore, may I please take this moment to thank the almighty God for the gift of life and for giving me the gift of wisdom. Because when I was in year eight, I could have chosen to take the path of drugs, to take the wrong path, but God guided me towards the plans that he had for me. And I'm grateful that I listened. I want to thank my dad, Kuluji, <laughs> thank you so much for being there for me. <laughs> thank you so much for being there for me when I needed you. Thank you for telling me what I didn't want to hear, but I needed to hear. I want to thank my mother, Mama Gretti. <laughs> I love you, Mama. You have been there for me every step of the way, and you have been my shoulder to lean on. I want to take this moment to thank my uncles, my aunts, my uncle, Mr. O. M. Dube, my aunt, Mr. Mrs. Kangoni, and Mr. Kangoni, my aunt, Mama Sandy. I love you, Mom. <laughs> Many of my peers see me driving a car to school. She lends me a car, but I'm not even her first son. Thank you so much for the support. I want to thank my brother, Mukomo O'Brien. He supports me. He took me from the slums. He pays for my boarding fees. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know a cousin brother that can do this for you. And I'm grateful to God for giving me such family. As I finish up, let me thank Mr. GXP and Coach Tender for seeing potential in a young grade six student from Highlands Primary School and to the directors of the Heritage School. My story hasn't been the easiest. My journey has been rough, but thank you so much for being there for me every step of the way. You have saved my life. I can't imagine where I would be without your support. I thank you. To my class of 2022, to my peers, to my friends, 
to my family. We started our journeys aiming high, and we'll end them aiming even higher. They say that the sky's the limit, but ladies and gentlemen, I tell you, the sky is only the beginning. Alta Pete, let's keep aiming high.